Well, nobody could say that type of thing in China without getting terrible repercussions. We pray for the distance. We pray for those daring to speak out, for those who are daring to lie down their lives. But we just pray they meet you, Jesus. Don't let them die with China without meeting you. Lord, we pray we see your shaking. We see you turning things over. We don't wish for anyone to perish. You don't wish. We just agree and we believe that your purposes are growing over China. And that you will prevail. And the king's ransom for China. Hallelujah. The king's ransom for China. Hallelujah. You know, we had a man in our home last week who goes all over Asia. He works with Southeast Asian Prayer Center. When he was eight years old, his father took him to Beijing and he asked this Chinese woman who had been persecuted, would you show the boys your back? This woman had cataracts in her eyes, and our friend Matt is an eight-year-old who now has children that age himself. He looked into her cataract eyes, and he was so distressed because what he had seen on her back were rows of deep, thick stars, scars. This is what he saw as an eight-year-old boy. But the woman said to him, when she saw his eyes and the distress, she said, I didn't feel any of it. <laughs> Lord, the Chinese church has poured blood in the ground since the Boxer Rebellion we know about the 20th century. There is so much blood in the ground of the martyrs. There's so much persecution. I just feel like I could, should just be on my face right now thinking about the persecution that the Christian church in China has endured. And we just say that you are faithful to the blood of the martyrs and what the Christian church has poured out. And we stand with them now, Lord. We stand with them now. Let them know Christians around the world are praying for them and let us know they're praying for us. Yes. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There's something, brother. I just want to read this real quick. In Psalm 1017, Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause my ear to hear. Hallelujah. What's your name, Scott? Scott. 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 Uh, like I said, pray for the Uyghur people. There's yes. about 10 million of them in western China. Right. And uh, as probably most of you know, uh, somewhere around a million of them either are or have been in internment camps and uh, had a factory out there for 10 years and saw them building uh, one of the camps a few kilometers from my factory. And uh, I know believers uh, that are there, Uyghur believers. And so uh, I'd like us to pray Go for ahead, them. God. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. 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 God, I pray that you would use this terrible oppression on Uyghurs and Kazakhs and Sukhoi and others out there right now, Lord, that you'd use that terrible thing from the evil one, Lord, but that you would use it to break the power of Islam over their minds, that uh, even though the enemy wants to just kill, steal, and destroy, Lord, we pray for the, the breaking of the, of the, the veil of Islam over the peoples yes. in Western China, Lord. Yes. And Lord, we pray, God, for the prisons, uh, these uh, education camps, Lord, we pray for, especially for believers there, Lord, that you sustain yes. them, yes. give them food, that you would, uh, that they would meet you there, Lord, that they would, in the ways that they can be in there, be wise to, to share the gospel, Lord. I pray for Ali and his mother and grandmother who believe, Lord, that you would bless them for Ablet and Rebecca. Yeah. Lord, for Korban yes. and Rosagul and their three precious little ones, Lord. Yes. Strengthen them, Lord. Yes. 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 Yes.
pour out your spirit on seeing John. God, we pray for this for your word, your declare, declaration, Lord, your power to go forth and seeing John. That there be a mighty outpouring of the spirit there, Lord. Yes. And that that outpouring would go across the stones, Lord. Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Lord, all the way to Jerusalem, Lord, Turkey. Lord, we pray for an outpouring of your spirit there, Lord. Thank you that right now there are people, believers, and even in, in this city, Lord, in the last two months, Lord, I've met uh, two sisters independently or different places, Lord, that are uh, Kyrgyz believers, Lord, just a strange... Uh, meeting, Lord. We pray for your anointing on those sisters, one a new believer, the other by many years, Lord, and for the work that's going on in Kyrgyzstan as well, Lord. Just bless it. Thank you, Lord. saints we have got to stop saving fake money and we have got to start storing up God's money what God money is is silver and gold because if something were to happen in this nation and the banks went down and we have nothing but fiat cash stacked up that is not going to be worth anything so for the saints of God he's given us wisdom right now to start Converting our money, dollar bills, into gold and silver. Yes. And that's just a word for the church. Are you a banker? You look like a banker. Kingdom financials. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more on that. Silver and gold is starting to prepare to go up. And they have none when you go in to order. Be yes. thrilled to order it because it's a bottom base price to get it. That's a good word, brother. I really would like to pray for our farmers as they come into the season of planting. Yes. Because I grew up in a fertilizer family, so I understand and I watch and the farmers say, oh, it's cold, wet, and rainy. We can't get our crops in. And then when they go to take the harvest, the snows come and they can't get the crops off. I believe we need to decree and declare over the farmers' lives who have bank accounts that are just being crushed right now yes. with the debt yes. that they have. They owe millions of dollars. And they go to bed crying because they don't know how they're, they're going to pay their bills. Let's agree today that the debt cancellation would come yes. over yes. their farms that they would be free to put in the crops. Yes. And not only that, that they would get a phenomenal, how about a hundredfold return yes. on those crops. Yes. In Jesus' name, Father, we lift up the farmers. And Lord, we come against Monsanto that is trying to destroy the crops over this country, over Canada, in Jesus' name. And around the world, Lord, they have sent out an assignment to destroy. Well, we stand against it this day, and we say, no more, Monsanto. We command your business to collapse in Jesus' name. And Lord, we would get back to good seed that the farmers could plant, and that they would have quality, quality crops. We ask for favor for those farmers, Lord, that they would get the crops in, and Lord, that they would get the right amount of rain all season long. Not too much at one go, not too little for droughts. And Lord, we decree and declare in the fall that they would have a harvest. Lord, I sense in the next seven years that they will have crops like they've never had before. In Yeshua's name, that they would come out of debt. Lord, we ask blessings upon the farmers. Because they bless us. They put the food on our table. And Lord, the people that pick the crops, 
We ask that you would bless them, Lord. We don't think anything of it. My prime minister said, we don't need farmers. We can just go to the grocery store. Oh, oh my gosh. Lord, we need farmers. And we need prosperous farmers. And we need good equipment. Lord, that their equipment would not break down. That they would get it in and they would get it off the harvest field. And they would have no problems. This would be a this would be a jubilee year, Lord. Yes. Absolute jubilee year. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where does the prime minister think he gets it when he goes to the store? Jesus. He just shows up and it's there. Wonderful. We have a unique prime minister. We won't go there. <laughs> Hallelujah. How's everybody? Good. All lines are clear. Everybody's happy? Yes. Joyful. Joy, joyful. <laughs> yes. We got the joy of the Lord, right? Amen, sister. He's our strength. So I'm so glad you came today, not knowing that Sister Ruth wasn't going to be here. We don't tell. Because <laughs> then you might not show up. <laughs> but I know you come here for the Lord, so I'm glad you guys put up with me. Um, she'll be back on Sunday, so no worries. Okay. Ramona, we love you. It was perfect. <laughs> come back more often. <laughs> be happy. Count it all joy. Right? I love you guys. If you don't have anything else, you know, you can uh, dismiss and Dee said she'll be here Monday. Okay. All right. Hallelujah. You don't know what to do now, right? You used to stay until 3 o'clock. Can I do the closing prayer? Please, brother. I can't wait. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for this gathering, Father God. We pray without ceasing, Father God. We would like to thank you, Father God, for each and every word being spoken today, each and every uh, a blessing that came down with the rain, Father God, yes. for the abundance of the saints, Father God, for the prosperity of your people, Father God. Thank you for putting the world in a position to hear, Father God, and to see what you are doing, Father God. I pray that you will uh, anoint each foot, Father God, that leaves this place, that everywhere our feet touch this season will be ours, Father God, will be yours, Father God, because we don't stand uh, and, and this gap for ourselves. We are ambassadors of you, Father God. And wherever we go, let us reflect the characteristics that you have put inside of us, Father God. Let, let, us, let us absorb the goodness that was in the saints in the Bible, Father God. But let us not absorb the negative parts that they had. Let us have the strength of Samson, Father God, without falling to the lust of the world. Let us have the military might and wisdom as being kings and queens of, of, of your world and of your kingdom like King David. Let us have the wisdom of King Solomon, but also the understanding that it takes to wield that wisdom and knowledge. Let us not flirt with different gods and different things to worship, Father God, because you our God, all alone by yourself. Father God, let us have supernatural faith like Abraham, Father God. But also let us be evangelists like the woman by the well, who heard the word in due season and got up and ran forth and saved the whole city. Father God, I pray for supernatural wisdom, favor, love, all of the fruits of the Spirit to be cultivated within us as we are your husbandmen. Father God, you are planting seeds and people all around us, seeds in the ground all around us, seeds in the spiritual realm. Let us be more attuned to the spiritual realm and let us meet with you, Father God, daily as we set the time for our watch as we are watchmen. 
And we need to pray for one another on a consistent basis. Bless this woman, Father God, who led the army today into victory. Bless her a hundredfold. Let people pour into her, Father God. Let her spiritual gifts be increased, Father God, by 77 times. Father God, that whatever she says, that it be anointed. Whatever you have commanded her to do, let that be anointed, Father God. And that much more, all of us who are here today, even the ones who are not here. Bless Sister Ruth, Father God, even in what she is doing right now. Because with her obedience, Father God, we are able to meet at this conjuncture today. Without her obedience, Father God, we would not be here. We would not be able to meet. So we ask, Father God, that the blessing that you have for her, Father God, be released into the atmosphere now as her children, all of her children to be blessed, not just in the physical, but in the spiritual, because we are all kind of like her children as well. Because the glory you have given her is the glory that comes on us, Father God. And what such a great glory. That every word being spoken from this place, Father God, is magnifying us because we magnify you. We humble ourselves today and not to be lifted up in pride, Father God, but let us be humble with all that you have given us so we can do all that you have told us to do. Father God, I just thank you for each and every one of us, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.